The first premiere was at the Toronto Film Festival, and we felt the energy in the room. And I, it was the first time I'd even seen the film. And I have to say that that was, that was a gift in itself, that there was, a, you know, after all these years of not really spending time in the theater, that sort of re-entry into the theater experience and how this film really is all about that. I mean, it's like feeling the energy, feeling the laughter, feeling the engagement. It was really wonderful, and that's what this movie will be. And it's, it's a very interesting thing, because we're gonna have the theater sort of opening, and then we have our Netflix opening. So people will be able to see it in the theater, then they'll be able to go home and watch it again. And I'm watching it tonight for the third time, and I can't wait, which has never, I will say this, has never happened, ever, for me. I mean, way too much. I think it was illegal, the amount of fun we had. The whole cast, like, nonstop. There were some moments that I was supposed to be super grounded and serious, and I just look over at Catherine, and she's making, like, she's making everybody laugh. I'm laughing. It was so much love, uh, and I honestly, I gained a family with these folks. It was like being at, like, a theater summer camp, and you just did not want your parents to come back and get you. Ryan Johnson is just such an incredible writer and director, and he's a, he's a joy to work with and for. I mean, I honestly, you know, he's one of those people that if anybody, any actor, any contemporary of mine that ever asked me, like, Ryan, I'd be like, no, well, run, don't walk, run to work with him, because he's so lovely, so generous, and, and truly so, so talented. Um, and these movies are special because they're actually very, very hard to do, and he makes them effortless. And so when you watch them, you just disappear into it, and I think that that's what everybody needs right now. It's always great to just go into new corners that you haven't sat in and, 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 and to be able to use the range. I think this character allows me to use my range in ways that I don't think people have had an opportunity to see, even myself. I think I watched it the first time and I was like, wow, wow, you know? So I just hope that people enjoy it. As I enjoy it. I see the spirits of the characters. I don't even see Janelle Monet. It's, you know, it's about community. It's about duplicitous community, but it's about, you know, I think there's a tradition. Uh, we try to build on the first one, you know, that's really about that, those familial relationships. This is about friendships. Um, and yes, it's it's about people that, that are out of line of their integrity, but um, in true Ryan Johnson fashion, they find their way back home. I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you don't get an experience like that that's that generous and permissive and creative without um, the leadership of a director and a number one, which we had in Ryan and Daniel. So I just feel lucky to have elbowed my way into this, into this cast and gotten to be a part of it. God. Well, I guess I guess you have to kind of think of it not as topping yourself, but just think of it as let's keep the party going and let's get another great group of actors together. Let's go play someplace fun and let's have a blast making a murder mystery, you know? This is just a good, entertaining laugh, and, and clever, and satisfying, and pretty pure entertainment. Ryan was basically like, 
do you want to come to adult summer camp in Greece with unserious people and maybe we'll make a movie on the side? I was like, I'm in. I want to make a joke and say not at all or something, but I'm, I can't even be cynical. It's like, it was really one of those just, you know, game-changing, life-changing, special experiences that you would just never forget as a performer or as a person. This is one, like, one of those things that you just feel, remind yourself how grateful you are to be able to say you do this for a living, is to be able to work with this group of people and this director, and the, it's, it was just a dream. I think it's a film to watch with your family. Uh, love them or hate them. It's, this film is about a group of people who love each other and hate each other and are forced to come together once a year. And it feels very, uh, very themed. <laughs> I think the first one struck a chord. People are interested in original storytelling. Uh, it was a brand new idea, a new cast. I think Ryan understands pop culture right now. It feels very current and uh, yeah, he brought something fresh to the genre. So everyone in this, every character in this movie has their own drink that they love. Okay, yeah. what's yours? Gin and tonic. Ryan's so masterful, but also he's kind of, he's taken the, he's crafted, he's crafted a modern whodunit that is so engaging and he know he's just he's so meticulous about what he does all the details like he just I don't I think because he loves it so much and he has such a passion for it that he knows what he would want to watch and um, and I think I think that translates like he's he's made it he's he's kind of revived it in a way that's really really special and I think people see that every single one of these actors could carry a movie on their own, have carried movies on their own. And when they bring their skill sets, everyone does so much work so that we can get on set and we can play. And everyone was so supportive of each other. Everybody just loved each other. It was seriously, it felt like a summer vacation where we also got a movie made. to create and facilitate a, a really familial, warm, safe space to to play, to fail, and um, and also just like just have fun. And and that that was apparent from day one. And and I I mean I truly I love I love Daniel so much. And I'm so I'm still pinching myself that I even got to work with him. Ryan, instead of sort of just doing the refried beans of a of a period murder mystery, he. He's, you know, he's set these things in the times we're living in, and you get to laugh at, you know, the uncle who can't remember what country the, 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 you know, Martha's from. Or in this one, you'll see lots of uh, people that you'll recognize from our tech Illuminati, um, you know, uh, 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 culture. And I think, I, I just think that he's, he's made us like a murder mystery for our times, you know, and I, th I think that makes it especially fun. I really had very little expectation about the first film. I just was really happy to be there. We had a great time, loved everybody. Ryan is very quiet, knew exactly what he needed and wanted, didn't. You know, there, there was no real sense of what it was until I saw it put together. And then, of course, I really admire the movie. I obviously, people loved it. People just loved it. Well, Daniel is just a wonderful actor. And, and the first day he showed up there, you know, he was nervous the first day of Knives Out. He was definitely a little nervous. There was a, a feeling like there were a lot of actors and we were all looking at him. And he, I remember the first day he had to do one of his big scenes with the whole family watching him. And he just was so loose. 
and so beautiful that I just knew. I mean, in that moment, I sort of was like, oh, oh, this could be amazing, and it was. And I remember when I saw this for the first time, I didn't, I had never realized what a truly gifted physical comedian <laughs> Daniel Craig is. He's so good. And it's, uh, it's just such a treat to watch him have such a good time. I mean, this is a whole new, it's a whole new cast, it's a whole new mystery, so we kind of did a whole new score. We're still playing in that sandbox that we established for Knives Out, but we really, uh, we kind of blew it out this time. We exploded it and uh, really leaned into that old world, lush exotic vibe. I honestly think Ryan did something that was very fresh and the first time and uh, people really enjoyed it. And Ryan is by now like a following and I think people kind of trust and believe that he's, he's going to do fine by them and it's going to be something fun and with twist and entertaining. And I think he did, I, I hope people think he delivered. The first Benoit Blanc mystery, Knives Out, turned out to be a great holiday movie. And in his wisdom, in their incredibly hard work, Ryan and, and Ram, Daniel, the whole team, just wanted to give people more of the stuff that they really liked and that's what that's what we tried to do on this one